could be your last goodbye, last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be your last goodbye, or oh, I won't meet again. We watched her breathing through the night, through the night, with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor, and the walls of a new. Let's hope they never find her body, or I'll be a dead woman too. Last time on Deceiver of Fools. There was this beefy, annoying guy named Caleb, who has terrible clothes, who was screeching at Olivrius about how he's lucky because Akuma died, but she isn't really dead, which makes no sense to us either. And then an equally annoying guy in a tutu showed up and started trying to gaslight Olivrius into believing that he doesn't really love Akuma. Although, who would love Akuma? She's terrible. We ended off with Vaughn saying, You acted on a false emotion and will regret it! Ah, ah, ah! And then Alibria said, I did not and I will not. And then Vaughn said, Prove me wrong! Ah, 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 ah! Or something like that. He sounds like a really bad Count Chocula. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I guess if it's possible, enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, go bathe in acid, <laughs> Mr. Knows What Everyone Feels. I may be young, but I know my emotions well enough to know which are true and which are false. I've been under spells before. Prove me wrong. Look at how whack his hand. Seek the truth! The Enzeru clan is dead! Akuma is the last of her kind. Thank God. <laughs> Benny, a good name. Nice to meet you, Benny. We'll see. One could always use magic to remake the clan. Please don't give the Corisus any ideas on how to regenerate their horrible, horrible bloodline. No matter what lies she told me, she believed in that scripture. Who burned her home? That's quite a load to place on one person, even if he is a demigod. I know better. Who cannot help her any more than you already have? Leave her and be done with it, please. Ding dong! I do not abandon anybody. Then think of it as freeing someone. Me, me. <laughs> he doesn't do that either. And why would who care? Who are nothing more than his toy. So what? Ever consider that he likes being Elibrius' toy? Who have nothing to fear? He can't love food either. Who should know how she feels? Like two bags of sand? Even if he doesn't love her, he cares a damn sight more about her than me. What a coincidence! I don't give a shit about Akuma either! Then Vu are more of a fool than he is. I pity Vu both. Maybe I feel like you should stop trying to put words in our mouths. Maybe I feel like you should shut up, back the fuck off, and let him deal with his emotions. The pet! Has a face. <laughs> what the fuck was that? the 
term person loosely, not just referring to humans, I mean. Oh, good. More fun for us. You know, that's kind of fucked up. How is that fucked up? Well, in a normal society, zapping people with cattle prods is considered unethical. First, this show is anything but normal society, and second, so is referring to people as pets. It evens out. But Vaughn was right. I am a pet. Some people like being pets. And some people like being zapped. So before I get zapped, I just like to say, pet, 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 pet! Pet! Do it again! It tickles! Ah! Tickles! Ah! Ah! I am not a fool. Maybe not, but who are taking on a fool's endeavor? He's grateful that I care. Funny, neither do I. Can we get on with it? Tell Ursula of the glory of the Lamar. Translation, such as the glory of love. took so long. He's out. Fucking hell, I'd even prefer your company, Caleb. Seriously. Does Moto wouldn't give me the frying pan? Then why didn't you use the baseball bat? Orion's using it as a butt plug. What's up Vaughn's ass? More like, what isn't? Vaughn wants to use the baseball bat as a butt plug. Listen, I'm going to take off my mask, okay? And all my cars are on the table, deal? Please tell me we're not going to play strip poker. Is that even him? He seems... different from yesterday. My name is Caleb Hart! I know where you are from! I know what you are! You might say we share some common ground, your lordship! Oh, how's that? We come from the same place. I may not remember like my mother, but Celestia was my home as well. You're not from Peru Village, though. I didn't know there was a male heart. No, my mother never told me much. She hated the place with a passion. No, she ran with me as soon as I was born. What was your mother's name? I don't remember. Please hear me out. I don't know shit. That's true enough. About where I come from or who I am. My mother hated Celestia and changed her name and mine as soon as we left. The only name I know her by was Augusta. Most of the women in the Heartline have names beginning with A. If you were from the future as Fennel is, I'd suspect you may have been Serena's child, but as it is, you must have been Peppercorn's. Which... makes Caleb Lee's grandson, right? Matters, but I was raised on the streets, okay? Please just go out on a limb and trust me, please! And Barina Hart was banished from Celestia. Our daughters, Foxglove and Peppercorn, were permitted to leave once they came of age in search for their mother. Peppercorn was the faster to leave, but I didn't know she'd had a son. I don't doubt you, Caleb. Elibrius, this is the kind of thing that would be useful for me, 
not only as the acting queen, but as the archival conduit to know before somebody else brings it up. Talk to Sitakua or Neferbelli about it. You talk to Neferbelli. She's your mother. It's your complaint. In any case, why the attitude from Vaughn? Thank you. Now listen, I have known Akuma for a long time. Biblically? Neither would I. I was there when she lost her wings. And where exactly was that? She thinks Kimmy saved her, but it was me. If you say so. I know how much pain she is in constantly. How many do you have? I have a little sister. Vaughn always saw her as a source of power, but to me, she was my friend. With benefits? Are you implying I have all the answers? If anyone can help her, it's you. I would love to leave Vaughn, but just help her, please, Master. Beta? Did you call me? I could have sworn I heard my name. Elibrius, I beg you. Begging works best on your knees. You haven't told me how to help. Even if you just pretend to love her, do it, please! Ding dong! I hate seeing the look in her eyes every time she sees others with their mates! Why would you want to chat with the military? If you can, at least do this! True may have many faces. Make her whole again for once since I met her then, please. Okay, give me a moment to think about that, babe. <coughs> I beg you to help her. Beg all you want, but it's not gonna change anything. I do love her. Then when my death comes, I have nothing to fear. Why is this so difficult for everybody to understand? Because for the past 7,000 years you've been a heartless prick and everyone thought you were gay? Yes. He's physically and mentally 19. Chronologically, he's around 6,968 years old. He's a demigod. They only thought I was gay this year. You poor thing. Do you want to talk about it? You'll protect her for me, right? Please promise me you'll do everything in your power to protect her. I'm getting mixed messages. Vaughn told me to leave her alone. Now you want me to protect her. Before anything else, I need to know the reason behind the former's attitude problem. Ignore Vaughn, please! Just promise me you'll protect her! Protecting Akuma doesn't, though. There's a game going on and nobody told me? I am the omniscient voice of the director, and I just lost the game. I'd like to hand them both a bottle of Jack and put them on a race course surrounded by lava. Ooh, that sounds like fun! Let's put angry rhinos behind them! A capital idea! Tell me why he's being an asshole. I will promise nothing until my own question has been answered. Now that's the news I know. Good to see you still have that funny temper. Pumpkin, now's really not the time. 
Of course. I wouldn't show up if it were convenient. My time as his maid is almost up. When he picks a new one, I know he'll go after her. Suddenly, date rape. You can keep her safe. Promise? How specifically can I keep her safe? Don't let her drink anything she doesn't watch him pour. On second thought, do. It's a kuma after all. A ritual in zero bonding. It would be like marriage, but now no one else can touch her unless you give them permission. And you could still have other love interests. Suddenly, Mormonism. I think Alivrius and Akuma are both at least 6,000 years old. With this group, do you really think time matters? Are you going to cut the crap and tell me how to perform the bonding, or are we going to sit here playing footsie all damn night? Mom did say you had a temper. Yes, I have lots of sandpaper. You still have a while. I don't have to go, but if you want me to go, I'm off. You say it. She needs to recover first. She doesn't have any money. You have until the middle of Diamond to bond with her, which is April if you didn't know. I was going to go with entirely fail-brained. She will tell you everything if you ask her. What is my name? Your name is Rosemary J. Yes. Tell her I asked. I won't be with her anymore. This will be my last night with her. Give me just one night, una noche, a moment to be by your side. Give me just one night, una noche, I'll give you the time of your life. Give me just one night, and no chance, senorita. Like steak fajita, lips taste like sangria wine, and I fill your jeans with a silk behind. Check it out. I've been watching with rapt attention just to find things to snark at, but I don't get it either. I clue you in, but then I'd have to help you kill yourself. Ha ha ha! Seriously, do you want to help? Not really. Then leave a note. No, I mean, once my mate wakes up, I have to go. No incarnation for me. I don't suppose you could go back to Celestia, live with Rabbit? Why me? Obsidian's full, Temple on High's too dangerous, and Sitakua's palace is shattered. Mahayane's old home isn't too dangerous. Yes, it is. I can't! I know when he wakes up, Vaughn will have me back to where I belong, being whored out to the highest bidder! I still don't see why you can't just gribble a note on a post-it to give to Akuma before Vaughn comes too. Good point. You've got one hell of a mate. I know. Mother arranged it. Suddenly arranged marriages. Fucking hell. She said I wasn't worth the air I breathed. Well, she's right about one thing. And hoard me out to make a life for myself, okay? Whoring oneself is not a fitting career for the grandson of a Malima. Well, I didn't say I like it, now did I? You didn't say you didn't, either. You act as if you're resigned to it. As for your mother, I'd like to introduce her to Cuddles. 
the fish. Fennel named him, not me. It's all I've ever known. I'm used to the rape. Pucker up, kiss a nut, cause it sells to be a slut. Personally, I think he needs a bottle of Prozac with that wine. Can you put in a word? I knew I shouldn't have reproduced. Is that your creative way of suggesting murder? You cannot murder anyone on this show until their contracts are up, which won't be for another year or so. When you say you can't go back, are you physically incapable of doing such? Mother bound me to this world! Suddenly, bondage! Knowing that you don't belong here, even disliking you as she obviously seems to, she would keep you where she is. I was the reason why she lives a comfortable life. She had no right to treat you that way. Well, she has! Ever since I was five! Priestess with an idea. You said something about the bid, right? That you're auctioned off? Yes, my maid sells my body to this highest bidder! Shit, hang on! <laughs> RAGE QUIT! DING DONG! OW! What owl? Vaughn woke up! What's the highest bid been over your entire life? With the offerings made at the Bleeding Grass Palace, we could easily triple the offer and buy you for life. I don't even want to know what you'd do with him. My highest bid was one million for a night! Watch out all you mothers, I'm happy it's her core. Happy as a coupon for a twenty dollar whore! <laughs> Three million a night for a lifetime. Uh, Pumpkin, are you certain Alibrius' offertory would cover that? Depends how much he paid for the Saji. Didn't count it. I just stuffed a bunch of green papers in an empty journal and gave it to the girl on shift at the orphanage. How many is a bunch? The book was six inches thick, not including the covers. Then damn, we might not have enough. Instead of doing that, why not just take $21 million to the beach once a week and donate it to the ocean? Okay, I said to Kuma home. What does the human look like? <laughs> Pwned. She's safe with Cory now. Bring her back. Look, please, my life is over. Good. Just promise to protect Cory to Kuma, please. Okay, I promise. Tell me. Three hundred and sixty-six million dollars a year. Right? It can be done, Pumpkin. Wouldn't it just be easier and more fitting to forcibly find Vaughn and make him live the life he's having Caleb suffer? With this group, there should be enough power! Apparently, demons have a lot of money to throw around. Suddenly, economics? Dude, I totally pwned Wall Street last week. memory 
says it means I kicked that blooming ass. Caleb, contact my mother, Neferbelly, Meliara of Wisdom and Food. She will have enough for 50 years. Uh, considering that Celestia's currency is buttons, trinkets, and baubles, I'm not impressed. It's not difficult to collect 300 million small disc-like objects. Not popular, but not unheard of. She might also know how to unbind you from this plane. Have her get you the money somehow. Give it to Vaughn, then go home. I wish it was that simple. Lies. <gasps> I am bound to Vaughn. Just promise me you'll protect them, please! What is with the broken record dialogue? Seriously, does your line writer have ADRD or something? Attention Deficit Retardation Disorder Do you have any better ideas then? Or possibly some combination of histrionic and antisocial personality disorders? It sounds deadly and sexy. I just made up my own label for it. Attention Deficit Histrionic Antisocial Retardation Personality Disorder. Of course I will. When your bond to Vaughn ends... Sutakua will help you get home if she can. If she can, no arguing. Thanks, but I know what happens at the end of my bond in April. I said no arguing. I believe Sutakua has some influence over death and souls and that stuff I don't understand at all. You deserve a better life than the one you've had, if only because you're Akuma's friend. I wasn't her friend. I ripped your wings off at my mother's command. Then why do you care so much now? Because your life is ending? <laughs>